I told you I'm a psycho. Boom, baby. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake's American Nightmare. So here we are, once again, at the drive-in theater. I mean, it doesn't really look like it, because we're at a power substation below it, but you know what? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Um, the last section of the game. I wasn't sure if there was going to be anything after this, so I was like, eh, I'll leave this episode eh, intact. I'll leave this as the last episode, so we'll see. I mean, even still, there'll probably still be the credits afterwards, and... That's going to be kind of important. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? Yep. You got yourself a big boy, do you? Oh, look at your big boy. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, go! Get away from me! Let me, uh... Go ahead and, uh... Boom, boom, baby! Oh. So anyway, as I was saying... You got yourself a... A big old boy, do ya? That ain't gonna stand up much against me, punk. Oh, man. That was exciting, though. <laughs> All right, so plan is this. We are going to go turn the power on, and then we are going to go rescue Serena. But for now, I don't know where the manuscript pages are. I don't know how many I've got either. Okay, so we still got four more to find. So I just got to keep an eye up there. Because I sure as heck don't want to have to come back this way. Oh, boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Man, they ain't got nothing on me. What do these punks think they are? Hi. Go away. They try to face me down, man. I got a freaking hand cannon. They're like, oh, I could do this. I can handle this guy. He's a, he's a piece of cake. You don't know nothing. You stupids. I haven't seen a single manuscript page yet. <laughs> All right. All right, let me go check this way first real quick. Grab that. Thank you. Huh. So apparently there are no manuscript pages in the power plant area. Color me surprised. I didn't see a single one on my map at all. Huh. Weird. All right, well, let's go in here and get this done then. All right. What you got for me, punks? What you got for me? Nothing? Yes, yeah, right, nothing. They got this set up again, so somebody's going to break through that. Ah, ah, Armage. Ha, ha. All right, cool. See that? Boop. Only the last one. Cool. All right, replenish the ammo. Thank you. Give me that there flashbang. Thank you. And flippeth yawn switcher. Wow, really? Come on, guys. Nothing? What is going on here? There we go. <laughs> Stupid shockiness. Alright. Making me a little nervous here. Not a lot. Hmm. 
Just a little. <laughs> All right. The best we got going for us here? You guys kind of suck, not gonna lie. Checkpoint reached. Wow. Thanks. He opened the door for me for some reason. Oh, this feels like a massive setup. You're never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life. So is his, uh... Overconfidence. I told you I'm a psycho. Boom, baby. got the best guns in the game at the moment. Actually, I'm about to replace uh, my assault rifle here because I want to get that combat shotgun. Hoo -hoo. We can't leave Serena alone. Also, I have to find manuscript pages now. Combat shot. No, this is the assault rifle. Wait, where's this? the combat shotgun? Wait, was the combat shotgun over at the other place? Oh, no. Oh, all right. So we got to find some manuscript pages and uh, yeah. Whoa. Nice throw. You think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. Again? Oh, poor baby. He is definitely feeling threatened today, that's for sure. Piff. Pish posh. A piffle. Simple even. <laughs> Manuscript page. When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. Poor Serena. What a freaking disgusting... Blech. I want to shoot him in his nuts. And I rarely say things like that. I mean, I do it all the time, but I rarely actually say I want to. Yes, what? yes. You think whatever it is you're going <coughs> to do is going to make a difference? Yep. This will end up just like before. Nope. I'm going to kick your butt this time, punk. You got no chance against me. I'm a beast. There's more to fighting the Taken than just burning away the darkness that protects them. When I'm fighting for my life, I find myself slipping into a state of intense concentration that makes the beam of my flashlight seem more powerful and focused. I used to think it was just my imagination, just my something imagination. brought on by the adrenaline and fear of death. But now I'm not so sure. I've been touched by powers that I can't begin to truly comprehend. And they've left a mark. I'm starting to think this might be a part of it. You've been touched by the light. You are the newest Zane. I've been around for a while now, you know? Uh-huh. While well, you've been indisposed, stuck in the darkness. At least two years. I've been busy. I operate in the shadows. Uh-huh. always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken. Shut up. I do my best work in the dark. Gross. Uh, Are the best you got? So much darkness out there. It goes deep. And the Gross. Living in our past, big bastards. <sighs> they don't mind you the 
I would hope so. But they're not going to get it. All that chaos and madness. It doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. Just a drop in the ocean. Right, right. But you done yeah. talking yet? Nope, still talking. Okay. Yeah. You can really make an impact. Ugh. With bullets in your face? Because I can do that. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. Ugh. But first, I had to take care of you. You party pooper. Ah. I'm ruining all your fun, am I? You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. Not really. Never up for you. I've got it all figured out now. And you shall fail. Do my thing. Just... In a bit of quality time with Alice. That's a little something for me. Shut up. And I deserve it. No, you don't. Only thing you deserve is a bullet in the face. And I plan to give you one because I'm so generous like that. Alright, so we gotta kind of skirt the outskirts here. Go over here, around the, the thing. Why is it so dark? Oh, right, because the darkness. Uh, but yeah, we gotta make our way around the souvenir shop. Keep an eye out for any uh, manuscript pages. Technically, we could kill the fountains first and then do it, but I want to go rescue Serena first. I'm getting closer again, so like, here's some music again. And some bad guys. Where you at, bad guys? Hi, guys. Oh. Ooh. That was a little closer than I thought he was. Alright, there we go. This is the con- No, it's sawn off shotgun. Man. I guess I missed my chance with the combat shotgun. Oh, well. I guess it wasn't really that important, but still, I feel a little disappointed in myself. What the heck? Where is it? It's up there. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? Yeah. Oh. Neat. I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters, followed by the title. It was a time capsule, moments snatched from times <sighs> gone by, from a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation, our salvation, our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about. Something I could put to good use. <coughs> only moments left before I had to face him. Aww, that's sweet. I like that. Her film is what saves us all. Ow, my ankles. Serena! Hey! Oh, hey. Hey, here we go again. I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain, like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. <laughs> Stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? What? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. I'm sorry. Hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. I understand. Yeah, I know. A lot of that'll pass with time. But being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, I'm here well, for you. There's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. And anyway, you're friends with Alice, so, you know... Any friend of hers. Thank you. Stay strong, lady. I see the other manuscript is out there. And uh, the radio is in here. Ammo. I don't need it. Radio. 
Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part of our pre-recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wick. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual very film. It was apropos. Things I saw and happened to shoot. It's not a medium I'm very much at home with. You shouldn't put yourself down. You've got a great eye. Maybe, yes, it is. But experience is another thing. Because you're primarily a still photographer. Yes, exactly. So I'm really used to thinking of the world in terms of snapshots. I frame something and try to pick the right moment, and then reveal that moment to people. Mm -hmm. Moving images are a different story. I'm still learning a lot about it, to be honest. So this is a new thing for you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm just a slow learner. <laughs> but showing no, you're like fine. this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking. It's just that those are private moments. But that's why it works. Because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo. Showing us how you saw your husband at the time. It's not really about the sunrise itself or Alan watching it. It's about you two together. I suppose. <laughs> It's funny, looking at it now, especially now that it's been edited like that. It takes on a life of its own, almost. It's a kind of a fantasy. Aww. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No. No, you're right. I'm glad you talked me into it. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. I love that. Alright, I got this one manuscript page to pick up, and then we're knocking this out of the park. And it's on the other side of the fence. Oh, darn it. Don't ambush me. I'm just coming through. I've already fixed her. Why is she doing that? Anyway, the last The one. clothes I wear now I shaped from dreams and memories. It's an old outfit originally from the 90s. Looks like the it. The last time I wore it was when I was still riding and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes, worn and comfortable. Alice made a joke about grunge. <laughs> I felt a little embarrassed, I was but I stuck that with too. them. We were very happy. I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. Yeah. You got this, buddy. That was the last of all the uh, manuscript pages. If this were on Steam or somewhere that had trophies, I would have probably pinged a trophy there. Anyway, wish me luck. I'll be back. Don't die. All right. Let's go get this last part done with. Kick up the music, because here comes Alan Wake, ready to destroy your dreams. There's four of them this time. Hey, hey. Uh, here, hold that. Got him. That's one. Ow, he hit me. There we go. Hi, big boy. <laughs> Stupid cactus got in my way, I couldn't see anything. Oh boy. Here, all that. Boom, baby. All right, last one. Oh, nice. Didn't even have to fight too much with that fight. 
epic. Got anything else to say there, doof? Before I go in and finish you off. It's funny, I'm talking like this. <clears throat> this is going to be easy. And I am kind of hoping it is, but... Same time, you never know. Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. Looks like the sun's coming up out there. Late at night, summer's almost over, film noir, spotlight illuminated, Alice's film is in the projector. Okay. Late at night. End of summer. Alice's film. Lamp pointing at the red fire extinguisher. Film Noir by Tom. Oh, I noticed this was Alex Casey. I didn't know if I called that or not. And Alice's film in the projector. Wait. What's the fan there? I notice there's no shadowy wispies. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... <laughs> what? What is this? Turn around, look behind you. No! No! <laughs> called a uh, restraint dude sometimes it's important you never earned it boof dead oh <laughs> we got grunge Alan. <laughs> alice is it is it really you it is. It's really me. How? Smoosh faces. Smoosh faces now. I know it's been two years, but... I missed you, baby. Smoosh faces! Grandpa smoosh faces! Before he gets sucked back into the darkness. Aww, I love... Reunited and it feels so a good. Woman, a man. Two lovers. Held apart for far too long. Enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. <laughs> He's home at last. <sighs> for now. Are these actual events or merely a dream? A memory? or a glimpse of what is to come. One thing is certain. Oh. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away. In Night from Springs. Night Springs. Oh, from Night Springs. Oh. <laughs> I see what you did, Remedy. I see what you did. You think you're sneaky. You're not sneaky. I know what you did there. You're like, we'll do this. And then be like, oh, but did it really happen? Or was this just a dream? I, I'm picking up what you're putting down.
What? Duh, God. Well, I guess we're joining Barry again, huh? No. Al? <laughs> huh? Al? <sighs> there we go. There we have it. Alan Wake's American Nightmare. That was a fun one. Ah. Uh, I have a few issues with the game, but overall I was very impressed with it, especially for what it was, you know, a sequel. <laughs> but I did end up getting everything out of it, which was good. And there's all the videos, Balance Lazy Demon, I gotta watch that myself. Uh, and radio shows, yep, got them all, alright. But I'm probably gonna make another video regarding the final, final closing thoughts of the Alan Wake series, but... I do hope there's going to be a sequel because this one was a was not really a sequel because for all we know it was all made up and imaginary anyway so we get to find out um but i mean even in uh the end credits there his journey through the darkness will continue and in control which was you know 2019 they were talking about more alan wake so maybe hopefully there will be some sort of a connection between Control and Alan Wake. And now I also have to look up the other game that they did and I didn't realize was theirs. Quantum Break. I think it was called Quantum Break? Quantum something? That one looked pretty good. And uh, so yeah, I gotta look up that one. But anyway, apart from that, that's all of Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Thank you all so much for joining me for this series. That's actually it for all of Alan Wake. I don't have any more Alan Wake. <gasps> oh no. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me for this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, just go poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, uh, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another series at another time. The Last of Us 2. And until then, 